Engines running low. Woo. Hi everybody, Matthias here and welcome back to another video on music tech and innovation. In today's episode we're gonna focus on music and AI. And of course we need to address the elephant in the room, the big one. How will music AI affect uh, the music industry? And of course we need to talk about one of the more competent AI tools for music creation, Suno.ai. Okay, so we're here at the Suno.com or Suno.ai website. and. Um, Previously to Suno, I think that most of the generated music that we heard were kind of gibberish and often of a very low quality end. And there were often very weird changes in the chord progressions and, and the melodies. It's very hilarious that we have an image of spaghetti here because uh, almost like a year ago we had that um, video with Will Smith eating spaghetti where he had like spaghetti coming into his face and stuff. But uh, AI has come a really, really long way in just uh, one year. Just take a look at the new Sora. And I believe that uh, Suno.com or Suno AI's model here is uh, comparable to what uh, Sora will do to the video industry. Suno will do to the music industry. But before I continue, continue rebel on here about this tech, just take a listen here to one of the samples running on empty. Funky Blues with Duo Vocals. Down this empty road And nothing but darkness Nowhere to go The tank's running empty The engine's running low Woo! Won't let go Won't let go Pedal to the metal Wheels spinning faster and faster Second verse empty, But I won't let it matter I'll keep moving on, I'll keep moving on. Stepping on the gas, stepping on the gas. With a heavy heart, heavy heart. One last smile, I'll make it through. No matter what it takes, I'll see it through. Just a little farther, the finish line is near. With empty tank of gas, I got nothing to fear. Okay, so what do you think about this first sample? The actual verse and chorus definitely sounds uh, like a typical blues pop uh, pop song. And uh, there's uh, great melodies in there. There's some uh, yeah typical chord progressions, very nice instrumentation. And uh, I mean, you could definitely use this and just uh, maybe extract the stems and then continue work on working on this in your favorite DAW and just. Uh, Add your own instruments or just use the vocals. I mean, the, the sky's the limit here. Because um, if you listen to most of today's pop music and, and the past like 20 years, there's still auto tune all over the place. You have like a perfect pitch on uh, most of the melodies. Maybe a rock and metal and other genres like that is an exception. But um, in most uh, like uh, pop music, EDM and uh, chart music you have autotune over the, all over the place so because in my personal opinion the vocals in this case sounds definitely like any other like top chart artist okay so let's continue down here and listen to payphone yeah <laughs> let's see the lyrics
Yes, definitely a cool rock track. What do you think about this second example? Payphone. Again, the lyrics is uh, kind of a gibberish, but uh, that's uh, really like the fun thing here. That uh, the music is like super produced, uh, or at least it sounds like uh, any other like uh, short uh, rock song. And uh, <laughs> they have the lyrics like uh, this kind of really weird and shyly's lyric to, to the track. But I mean, after listening to this, <laughs> you can definitely hear that this will disrupt... Uh, the music industry this year because uh, you're gonna see millions of these AI generated songs uh, pop up on Spotify and other streaming platforms because uh, it's gonna be a mess for them to uh, sort out what is AI generated and what is not because uh, it's extremely hard <laughs> at this point to hear what is AI generated and what's not especially like I mentioned earlier that uh, everybody's u- using autotune and uh, making everything like super quantized and, and stuff. Except ABBA, of course. <laughs> okay, so let's continue here and look at how uh, you work with Suno if you want to create your own music or have the AI create music for you. So let's go to the Create tab. Right, so there's uh, two different modes here. We have the custom mode and uh, the normal mode. So in the custom mode, we can define lyrics, choose a style and also extend the song. But we're going to use uh, the simple mode and let the Sudo Suno come up with the lyrics for us. So, what kind of track? Let's uh, create an alternative uh, emo pop track with soaring female vocals. Let's press create. And above here you can see some of my previous uh, render examples, so maybe we can take a listen to them while Suno is working on the new track. Melodies like stars. So my description for this soft track was a minimal electronica song inspired by the artist Tycho. But uh, I don't hear much of Tycho in there, but uh, we definitely hear that it's uh, like minimal ambient electronica. I could easily extract the vocals from this track with um, FL Studio's um, stem extraction and uh, build up a track around, around the vocals. So um, Suno is definitely going to be a great um, place to find uh, vocals for your tracks. Okay, so let's um, listen to the alternative emo pop track, Broken Wings. In the darkness I'm lost and confused Searching for love that I once knew Torn apart My heart's black and blue But I won't give up I'll find my breakthrough the weight of the world Heavy on my chest Every step I take Feels like a test But I'll spread my wings And I won't rest I'll rise above I'll be my very best fly 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 high above the clouds With broken wings I won't be held down I saw it through the pain Yeah, so again, a great over, overall production in that track. Definitely sounds like, like a produced track. And it's great to hear uh, like this, those uh, vocal harmonies in the background and, and all the different layers that uh, Suno comes up with in, in the production. In the bass in, in this track really felt punchy. So let's listen to the next example because uh, we always get the two renditions uh, when we render a new AI track. In the darkness I'm lost and confused Searching for a love that I once knew Torn apart, my heart's black and blue But I won't give up I'll find my breakthrough The weight of the world Heavy on my chest Every step I take Feels like a test But I'll spread my Fly. Fly high above the clouds with 
Again, a really nice overall production in, in the second example here. Yeah, so you can hear the quality of the AI-generated music has uh, skyrocketed. And uh, it was just a few months ago that it sounded like uh, gibberish to me. And uh, I actually uh, talked about a friend about this uh, AI music uh, expansion. And uh, I said, uh, I previously said that it's going to take at least five, six years until uh, we can hear music that's uh, in the same uh, ballpark and quality of, of the chart music. But uh, I was wrong. This is definitely going to be uh, disruptive to the music industry and polluting and diluting uh, Spotify and the other streaming platforms. Because uh, everybody is going to use uh, the technology. And Suno.ai or Suno.com is just one of uh, the many uh, upcoming uh, platforms that's uh, going to be available to generate music. For these examples, I've been using the free version of the Suno. But, but if you want to keep the rights to the music that you generate with the Suno, you need to pay a small little monthly fee and uh, you're going to keep the rights to the generated music. Now it's of course up to discussion if you can really own the copyrights of AI generated content. But that said, this is going to definitely change uh, how we make music because uh, as an uh, artist, I feel that we can only adapt and uh, make use of this technology in a creative way to extend our own musical abilities rather than try to defeat it because AI is not going anywhere, it's just going to get better and um, it's going to be built in to most of our music applications anyway because uh, if one company starts to add AI functionality, the other ones will follow because uh, that's just how competition works. Okay, so let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, rise of the music AI technology and uh, what you think of, uh, of the quality here. I hear a lot of people say that uh, this can compete with the chart music, but uh, my opinion is definitely that uh, some of the pieces that you generate with uh, Suno at this uh, point with uh, the version 3.0 is uh, definitely going to be able to compete with chart music. That's uh, my personal opinion. Right, so 2024 is definitely going to be interesting and um, to see where this uh, technology takes off and uh, and it's going to be intriguing to see how the streaming platforms handle all the new submissions of uh, AI generated music. Right, so to finish off this episode there are some rumors on a competitive uh, application or a competitive uh, music AI to Suno.com. I don't know the name of this new application, but if you do, please let me know in the comments and we will check out that uh, application in a future video. Right, so that's all for today. I hope you had a nice time watching this little uh, dabble drabble on uh, music AI. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.